One word substitution. And I have told you already that these words are very, very important regarding your competitive exams like ETA, MDCAT, GDP, any other competitive exam you will find such words. Okay? So the first one that uh, we have here that is acrophobia. Acrophobia. A person who is afraid of height. We say that uh, look at him. He afraid of height. So simply you can say that he has acrophobia. Now the word is very very important. If somebody said to you that uh, I have acrophobia, and you say acrophobia, it means uh, then the person will explain. So it takes some time. So it is better to learn these words. What does acrophobia mean? It means that I am afraid from heights. Oh, good. So you should know about these important words. Such a long sentence you can explain with a word word. If you want to say someone that I have acrophobia, so I can't go to the heights. So another we have hydrophobia. Hydro meaning related to water. Hydrophobia mean that a person who is afraid of water. I can't swim. I have uh So simply you, you can express your feeling through a single word, which is very important. And that one is so a botanist, a person who studies plants, botanist. My brother is a botanist. He is a, a botanist. He studies uh, different plants. Um, he is studying about uh, the plants. So he is a, a botanist. Now, aquarium. Aquarium is a place where fish are kept. So, did you see our aquarium? There are some special fish. You will enjoy it. Please come and see our aquarium. So, aquarium is a place where fish are kept. So, fatalist. Tom is a fatalist. A person who believes in fate. Everything happened to us that is already written in our fate. So that person is called fatalist who believes. A uh, jury, a group of judges, five, six judges, three, four judges, this group is called jury. The jury decided. I accept the jury decision. So a jury, you must know what does this word mean. It means the group of judges. Narcotic, a drug which provides sleep, any type of uh, drug which provides sleep intoxication that is called narcotic, narcotics. And novice, novice means a person who is new in a profession or a trade or in a, any profession, so we call him and no vice. He is no vice in this business. No vice being new in a profession or business. So my young friends, if you want to learn more about that, you must uh, go to my channel Easy English Grammar. Do subscribe it, like it and share with your friends. Thank you very much. Take care. See you in my next uh, lecture that will be also about one word substitution. This is a series, series of lessons. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.